where is Turkey heading? Uh, we're going to be discussing this with Dr. Murat Aslan, who is the Security Studies Lecturer at Hassan Kalyonju University. Dr. Aslan, we've seen the Turkish forces capture a strategically important mountain today. What sort of an impact is that likely to have on the operational capability of the terrorists? Okay. As you know, the mountain is located very close to the Turkish border, and it's in the vicinity of Kilis, Turkish city. And terrorist organization uh, fired many rockets and also mortars to Kilis, Kilis city center. And last week, uh, we had some losses in a mosque while praying. Now on, uh, as far as Turkish army captured this mountain, uh, first of all, we will stop that kind of attacks. And the second thing is that this mountain is a peak, uh, which is between Afrin and Turkish border. Now, Turkish army can easily advance towards south, especially to the west of Afrin. And uh, Turkish army can also touch to the area where regime controls, which isolates PKK in the Afrin region and destined them to be destroyed in the near future. Now, for some time now, we've seen Turkey trying to convince the United States about its security concerns, but it seems that uh, some of the Obama administration policies are sti still being uh, carried out by the Trump administration. Some in Ankara are saying that uh, there is perhaps a desire by some in the U.S. to redesign the Middle East, to have some sort of a new Sykes-Picot. Uh, what is the U.S. thinking? Well, I think U.S. know what they are doing right now. If it's right or wrong, doesn't matter, but they know. And they have an ultimate goal in the Middle East. Uh, if you come to the relations between Turkey and the United States, I think the U.S. perspective will lean on t three different uh, pillars. The first one will be a short-term one. It's uh, built up on supporting PKK, especially in Syria, even though they will not provide, as they promised, uh, armaments, they will provide, you know, training uh, or intelligence. At the second term, when we come to Mimic issue, I think the United States will be in between a decision. Currently, we see a great support to Turkey in the local tribes of the Syrian uh, community, which means they decided to participate to Syrian national army that's about to be built in the near future. And the United States will evaluate the situation in terms of public's attitude, and later then will decide. And Mimic is not exception for that, because Mimic population is very uh, unfavor of PKK's presence in Mimic. And in the long term, after Mimic issue is solved between Turkey and the United States, I think the United States must decide on which part they are going to be, mainly Turkey or PKK. What I believe is that the United States will prefer Turkish stance because the alliance can be built very hard, but, you know, uh, it's hard to dedicate for any other reasoning. Now, Turkey has been making military gains. Is that likely to have some sort of an impact on the, um, the Syrian National Dialogue Congress that we're mm -hmm. going to be mm -hmm. witnessing this week? Well, uh, last week there was a Congress in Vienna, the ninth uh, roundup meeting, uh, and opposition were not very happy about the situation. And they rejected to participate in Sochi because they perceive Russia as a party to the conflict, and they do not believe that Russia cannot be, you know, bilateral. Uh, what I believe is that uh, Turkey will respect the decision of the local opposition and wait and see what they decide on that. Dr. Murat Aslan, good to have you with us here on TRT World. Now, the message from Ankara is that uh, there is still time for the Allies to take Turkey's concerns into account and to live up to their promises. Otherwise, if needed, Turkey will be going all out unilaterally.